Mention it all. Mention it all. Who gonna check me, boo? Geriatric granny, don't talk to me. Hello, Beverly Hills. Welcome back. I'm Daria Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I have some tea from here from West Hollywood. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. We are on the race to 15K. So if you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let's talk about this mess because, guys, apparently Stacy Schroeder, she is suffering from postpartum depression. Okay, this is not like a good thing a lot a lot of moms out there experience postpartum depression after they get birth because it is such a chaotic time in your life okay she went on and post this huge post on on instagram and i'm not gonna read it all to you because it is very long but basically she was saying that she was suffering with uh, from postpartum and she was suffering with huge body issues and struggles every single day and one of the things that she was feeling is that this like like she was feeling so bad all the time and she says that i feel like an asshole for even complaining complaining i wish i wasn't so vain but unfortunately i am she's basically talking about how she she was so consumed on how she used to look before and now her whole body is messed up because of the pregnancy and it is very hard for her to go back to the body that she used to have before and the only thing that i have to say about this is like i don't think this is something wrong okay yeah you Many people are going to say out there like, oh, she's so vain. Oh, she, how can she complain about not having the perfect body, you know? But especially when you grow up on like TV shows in Los Angeles, in this whole BS that happened over here, then you have to be perfect and skinny and beautiful all the time. And that's, and, and you are that person because I, I'm sorry, we all know that Stasi is a beautiful, beautiful woman, Right. It is very hard to look at you in the mirror and say and, and look at you and watch that. And she and he said she said it right there. She says, like, I know that I shouldn't be saying this because I just create the most beautiful human being. But it I cannot help but have these feelings. And you know what? Those feelings are valid. Okay, because that was your reality. That was who you used to be. Now, what I'm thinking is that you need to change your mindset, you know, sit down and don't be so hard on yourself, okay? You don't need to be skinny and perfect. Plus, let's be honest, I don't think you will ever have the same body that you had before, unless you have like surgeries and all that, you know, uh, like naturally it's very hard because I don't know, I don't know how you girls do it, but like pregnancy, I'm like one of those things that I'm like, I'm so amazed of how strong a woman is for giving birth. Because I will be like, no, bitch. No, you are not putting that alien inside of me. No. Okay. So it is like amazing, honestly. And she just needs to reevaluate life. You know what? It's really important out there. You can get your body back. Yeah, I mean, and you guys, you have the means to it. You know, if it really means a lot to you, you can just go have surgery. They will take everything out. They will make you perfect and beautiful. And then you just go into your regimen of like eating grass and do exercise 24-7. You can do it. But it is that something that it's really important to you for the rest of your life, you know. Or now you have another human being who you need to set an example and let's be honest, I love Los Angeles. LA is amazing. I mean, a great place, but it is one of the most fakest place in the world. Like a lot of people here are very fake and they are into this horrible stereotype of perfection. So is that something that you really want to pass to your children? I don't know. So, but you know what? The only thing, yeah. 
your feelings are valid. It is not a wrong feel, a, a wrong thing to feel that way. You just need to sit down and reevaluate your life. That's what I have to say. Let me know what you have to say about this situation. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya.